assalamu alaikum students myself arham sir and i am going to teach you bookkeeping and accountancy before starting our first chapter first we see the index okay so we know how many chapters are there as per the new syllabus of maharashtra state board there are total 10 chapters number 1 introduction to bookkeeping and accountancy number 2 meaning and fundamentals of double entry booking keeping system number 3 generals number 4 ledger number 5 subsidiary books number 6 bank reconciliation statement number 7 depreciation number 8 rectifications of errors number 9 final account of proprietary concern and number 10 single entry system so students we are going to start our first chapter introduction of bookkeeping and accountancy chapter number 1 introduction to bookkeeping and accountancy first we see what is bookkeeping bookkeeping means recording of business transaction in a systematic way and transactions means buying and selling of goods and services it's called transactions bookkeeping is not an actual accountancy but it's a branch of an accountancy why because accountancy means analyzing summarizing classifying and recording of business transactions now we see the evolution of accounting in india during chandragupta maurya's regime minister kautilya wrote a book named arthashastra wherein some references can be traced regarding the way of maintaining accounting records afterward it's called a deshi nama In the earlier time of civilization accounting was done by the agents who manage the properties of the wealthy people they prepare accounts periodically for the owner of the property the records of debit and credit were found in the 12th century itself right now we see who is called the father of accountancy in the year 1949 Luca the Bago Pacioli an Italian merchant introduced double entry bookkeeping system due to the industrial revolution in the 18th and 19th century okay students so Luca the Pacioli he invent a double entry bookkeeping system and he is considered as a father of accountancy in simple word the bookkeeping means recording the business transaction in the book of account in a systematic way all the monetary transactions listen students all the monetary transactions monetary means jiske andar cash included hota hai means jo bhi cash ke transaction hote hai either cash or either cash worthly goods okay are recorded data wise for accurate business result from such records at the end of accounting year bookkeeping is an art or science of systematic recording classifying and summarizing the financial transaction in a business particular period generally in a one year now before moving forward first we see there are first we see there are two many years right we all know about the calendar year which will start from 1st jan to 31st december ye hum sabko pata hai ki hamara calendar year kab start hota hai now the second year is called the financial year jo mostly companies prefer karte hai and the year start from 1st april to 31st march now further we see the definitions of the bookkeeping as per the j r batley boy bookkeeping is an art of recording business dealing in a set of book 
right art of recording business dealings business dealing means in other word we can say business transactions business do a multiple transaction in a day right and we cannot remember all the transaction so what we can do we will write the transaction we will record the transaction and recording of transaction in a systematic way called bookkeeping next as per r and carter bookkeeping is the science and art of correctly recording in the book of accounts all those business transactions that result in transfer of money or money's worth right just i told you earlier systematic way of recording of monies and money's worth why because in bookkeeping we write only a monetary transactions jo bhi transaction paise ya paise ki value wale cheez se hota hai bas usi ke bare mein hame a record likhna hai now what is the features of bookkeeping it is the method of recording day to day business transactions only financial transactions are recorded financial means the transaction which involved in money called financial because finance in other word bola jata hai financial means money right finance means paisa all records are prepared for a specific period which are useful for the future references records of transaction are based on rules and regulations right there are total three rules there are total called three golden rules three golden pillars of accountancy personal account real account and nominal account which we will learn in next lecture okay next it is an art of recording business transaction scientifically now we see the objectives of bookkeeping The main objective of bookkeeping is to keep a complete and accurate record of all the financial transaction in a systematic, orderly and logical manner. हर एक transaction को systematically logical manner से लिखना Logical manner means write as per the day by day transaction. We will not mix the transaction, right? जो transaction पहले हुआ उसे पहले लिखना जो बाद में हुआ है उसे बाद में लिखना ओके सेकेंड ऑल द बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन आर टू बी रिकॉर्डेड डेटा वाइज एंड अकाउंट वाइज सॉरी रिकॉर्डेड एज पर डेट वाइज एंड अकाउंट वाइज एज पर डेट लिखना है और एज पर अकाउंट अकाउंट वाइज मीन्स जस्ट लाइक पर्सनल अकाउंट का है तो पर्सनल अकाउंट में लिखना है रियल अकाउंट है सो so, रियल में लिखना है नॉमिनल का है सो so, नॉमिनल में लिखना है और एज पर डेट वाइज मीन्स फ्रॉम वन टू थर्टी राइट मिडल में से कोई भी ट्रांजेक्शन हमें नहीं करना है थर्ड बुक कीपिंग सर्व एज अ परमानेंट रिकॉर्ड ऑफ अ मॉनिटरी ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ एन एंटरप्राइजेस इट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस एज एन एविडेंस वेन एवर एंड वेर एवर रिक्वायर्ड it's an evidence why because it carry a monetary transactions and next to know the actual position of the company it's a very useful and very helpful why to know the actual position of the company either we are earning profit or we are suffering from losses what is our actual assets and what is our actual liabilities what is our actual borrowings and what is our actual credits सारा रिकॉर्ड हमें कहाँ से मिलता है थ्रू बुक कीपिंग हमने किससे कितना उधार लिया है क्रेडिट लिया है और हमने किसको कितना क्रेडिट दिया है नेक्स्ट वी सी द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ बुक कीपिंग नंबर वन फर्स्ट इम्पोर्टेंस इज रिकॉर्ड इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर एवरीवन टू रिमेंबर ऑल द ट्रांजेक्शंस बट विद द हेल्प ऑफ बुक कीपिंग बुक कीपिंग मेंटेन्स ऑल द रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन परमानेंटली एंड सिस्टमेटिकलीटिकली इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट नेक्स्ट फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन बुक कीपिंग इज हेल्पफुल टू गेट इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू प्रॉफिट लॉस असेट्स लाइबिलिटीज इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड स्टॉक एक्सेट्रा 
at any given time first we see the meaning of assets assets means own property hamari jaydad isko accounting language mein bolte hain assets जो भी हमारी जायदाद होती है हमारी प्रॉपर्टी होती है उसको अकाउंटिंग लैंग्वेज में बोला जाता है असिट्स नेक्स्ट वन इज लेबिलिटीज लेबिलिटीज मीन्स आर बोरोविंग्स आर क्रेडिट हमारा उधार इन ईजिएस्ट वर्ड जो भी उधार होता है उसको अकाउंटिंग वर्ड में लेबिलिटीज बोला जाता है राइट नेक्स्ट डिसीजन मेकिंग बुक कीपिंग प्रोवाइड अ फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन टू द बिजनेस फॉर decision making controlling bookkeeping enables the executives of the business to control the activities of the business evidence it's an evidence and produced in the court of law in case of any disputes why because it's carry a financial transaction it's carry a monetary transactions and six tax liability Bookkeeping is useful to find out the tax liabilities. Example: income tax, property tax, goods and service tax, etc. At last, we see the utility of bookkeeping. What is the utility? Utility means उसका exact use क्या होता है, right? ये इतना helpful क्यों है? Number one, owner. The businessman can find out profit, losses, assets, liabilities of an enterprises at any time. हम business का profit, loss, assets, liability किसी भी वक्त find out कर सकते हैं through bookkeeping. Second, utility towards the management. Management of an enterprises can plan, take decision, and control. ओवरऑल बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज राइट थ्रो बुक कीपिंग मैनेजमेंट जो होता है प्लानिंग करता है फॉर फ्यूचर प्लानिंग फोरकास्टिंग टेक डिसीजन राइट एज पर द लास्ट ईयर प्रॉफिट हाउ मच प्रॉफिट विल अर्न इन करंट ईयर एंड कंट्रोल ओवरऑल बिजनेस एक्टिविटी नेक्स्ट यूटिलिटी टूवर्ड्स इन्वेस्टर्स इन्वेस्टर कैन टेक प्रॉपर डिसीजन वेदर टू इन्वेस्ट और नॉट वाई बिकॉज बुक कीपिंग शोज a complete record of our organization of our enterprises of our business wo pura record show karta hai it's an called an open book so investors ko kya hota hai is easy ke baba is business mein paisa invest karna hai ya nahi karna hai next towards the customers customer can easily understand the financial position of the business he can be assured about supply of goods why because through supply of goods and through the good financial position it creates the goodwill amongst the customer goodwill means our brand right jaisa hum bolte hain bmw mercedes honda l'oreal garnier right these all are brands and brands other word in accountancy we can call goodwill means our reputation next toward government government can easily find out the different type of taxes due from the various source utility towards the lenders money lenders can find financial financial standing of the enterprises for decision to lend money or not and the last utility towards the development business enterprises can achieve the business growth with the help of accounting right because hamare paas sara accounts jab available rahega complete data available rahega so we can easily see our development hame kitna profit hua ya hame kitna loss hua ye sab hum easily dekh sakte hain why because with the help of bookkeeping we can easily see our actual position either we are earning profit or easily achieve the target or suffering from the losses okay so inshallah in next lecture we will see the differences between the bookkeeping and accountancy and we see the meaning and definition of the accountancy thank you assalam alaikum